Holy smokies, it ain't no jokies. We got some breaking crypto news that could be a unfair advantage to a specific type of crypto investor. I'll explain everything. Plus, Shiba Inu broke out and was up around 7 or 8%. What does this mean for Shiba Inu and how can the crypto market continue from here? Will we start seeing, you know, the pump it up or is this just a a little fake movement that we're experiencing right now. All I ask from you is that you give me a beautiful smile to send out the good, good vibes, right? I want to see those pretty white teeth. <laughs> it's okay. Even if you know you have, uh, you know, dentures, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, smash the like button. Let's try to get 750 likes on this video. I don't know. I'm just throwing out a number there. Maybe we get it. Maybe we don't. Helps out with the algorithm. Uh, and if you want to give it at the end, it's fine. If you want to give it at the beginning, it's fine because it's free. So it's okay. And everybody's favorite part, stretch it out so you don't pull a muscle. Let's do the Shiba Shake. So currently Shiba Inu is sitting at 0.401828, up 4.82% on the day. Shiba Inu had recently in the morning touched the support level after twice trying to break out of the resistance level, failed, came back to the support. And after it tried for a third time, we saw a massive amount of volume uh, and Shiba Inu was able to break through the 1792 area all the way up to 1888. It seemed like for a few minutes, <laughs> uh, it was like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 minutes straight, only green candles after it broke out. Uh, I was um, uh, I was with my my youngest son and I was we were walking to the library and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> what's going on? When will it stop? <laughs> so eventually, of course, it stopped. Uh, it, it did coincide with, you know, Bitcoin moving up as well. So, it, you know, it wasn't just uh, Shiba Inu. And we, we did see other meme coins that were pumping as well. But Shiba Inu had that, you know, 15, 14, 15 minutes, uh, you know, only green candles. So that was very unique. Uh, that was what was happening there. Uh, and now the question is going to be, will it pull back and act as support? um with the rest of the crypto market because sunday you know night can be very tricky and very um you know volatile so you have to be careful with it um if you are interested in in day trading it short trading it uh swing trading it our partner margex does give you the opportunity to use leverage and you can go long you can go short whatever your heart desires if you use my link you'll get 50 dollars once you sign up plus another 50 dollars once you deposit your first 100 dollars that goes to your commissions and then you'll get another 20 percent kicker if you use my special code for your deposits link is in the description down below but you must know leverage is risky you can make a lot of money but you can also lose a lot of money as well i've been on both sides of the coin i have 100 x my positions but i've also been liquidated and i've lost everything and I've been stopped, you know, and everything is, I've been, I've seen everything, right? I've experienced everything. Uh, and so I know it's not for everybody, but if you are interested, link is in the description down below. I'll get a commission if you do use my link. So thank you for that. Now, what is going on? Well, on the one hand, we did see Bitcoin Golden Cross potentially happening here um, with the 50 week going over the 200 week. That is something that is potentially coming for bitcoin um you know people are looking at it uh havings 2012 2016 2020 uh, and 2024 we talked about how previously in the, in the years um it, it usually comes around this time where things start getting juicy we also look back and we saw that in the previous months we had seen lows around four five six of the month and then we saw it popping it seems that the low uh, of the month was actually uh, on the third so this this month it's you know maybe unique unless we have a massive sell-off uh today and uh, we break under sixty thousand, and you know then that will happen today on the sixth uh but uh for now that's what's happening uh and we are seeing uh relative to 2020 which was the last halving cycle uh much more whales are purchasing uh bitcoin and it's not just whales it's new whales 
uh, that are buying up the, uh, Bitcoin. And you might say, so why are you emphasizing, emphasizing so much about Bitcoin? You have to remember that Bitcoin is still the Mac Daddy. It still has a significant dominance on the market. 58% of the market cap of crypto is Bitcoin. And when money flows to Bitcoin, it, it theoretically, it later flows into the altcoin market. And historically, uh, we've always seen Bitcoin hit some sort of high and then down significantly. And that's usually when the altcoin or alt season starts. Uh, so it's very important to understand what's happening with Bitcoin and how the money could eventually flow out of Bitcoin because Bitcoin hits this um uh saturation and then money starts flowing into the rest of the crypto market and the theory is that that will potentially flow into meme coins and why are meme coins moving now before bitcoin and something that we need to be careful because we got burned a few days or was it you know a week or two ago already where shiba inu and the rest of the meme coins popped up but then we saw that sell off of course there was news but it also was because we saw that bitcoin although it went up it didn't pop in the same level that the meme coins were popping and we saw all of them sell off. So we, I want to see, even if meme coins do start coming back and Shiba Inu does break through the 2000 level again, I want to see what Bitcoin is doing because I think it will give us a little bit of indication what is um, coming in those next few weeks. Last year, the last two weeks of October were very good for Bitcoin. Uh, and the question is, you know, what could the rest of the crypto market do also, right? Are, is it going to follow suit? Will it be only money going into Bitcoin and less into altcoins? That's, you know, if you're from the future, you can write uh, in the comment section if you're watching this in November uh, and tell us what happened. Uh, but <laughs> for now, we don't know exactly what's going to happen, how the market is going to play out in the next few days. There's still, you know, looming the potential Israeli um, reaction to what happened a few days ago. That's still on the table. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, see what happens there and we are seeing uh you know a nice sunday pump here but again we need to be careful so what is the news uh and what is the news that has maybe giving some people uh you know an unfair advantage some people might say relative to i don't know people in the us or you know people in europe right so before we get into it, I just want to remind you, not financial advice, always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. And also, I will never contact you uh, uh, in the comments or on any other platform and ask you to join a group or send me money or anything like that. It's all scammers. Be very careful. Don't click on any links. Um, if you see some airdrop or some, you know, uh, NFT or something, don't click on any links. Be very careful out there. I, I, I know I know what's going to happen. The, the, the market, and this is why I keep saying this every video, the market's going to start pumping and people are going to start loosening their belt a little bit, getting a little bit greedy. But if I, you know, drill it into your brain, maybe you'll be about to click or you'll be about to do something and you'll say, wait a second, wait a second. Avi kept saying, don't do it. So I'm not going to do it. And I'll, I'll be very careful. And I'll, you know, maybe I'll miss out on an opportunity, but maybe this is a scam, right? So just be very careful out there, okay? So what was the big news? The EAU, sorry, the EAU. <laughs> The UAE, the United Arab Emirates, just eliminated taxes on cryptocurrency transactions. They are light years ahead of the rest of the world. Imagine how much Bitcoin the billionaires in this country are buying ahead of the bull market. This is crazy. First of all, they don't have any income tax. That, so that's why many crypto investors moved to the UAE, right? And to Dubai in specific. You can see the Burj Khalifa right here in the, in the picture. But now... Some might say that this is an unfair advantage if you have no taxes on any cryptocurrency transaction, which means that even if you swap, let's say, theoretically, I don't know, uh, USDT to Bitcoin or Ethereum to Bitcoin and the price of Bitcoin goes up, theoretically you have to pay a capital gain tax on the gain that you made there for the, the swap. That's how some countries do it, right? If it goes up in value. If they don't have to do this, so let's say someone did crypto transactions, they made a lot of money, let's say they made $100,000. Theoretically, let's say capital gain taxes was 25%, okay? So let's say I had $75,000. Now, because of compound interest, every single time that I'm going to make a transaction, I'm gonna to have to pay 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%, and it's going to eat up my initial 
payment, right? Now you should always put, now this is something that I've learned, I've, I haven't put taxes, money for taxes away. And then if you don't do that, and then you lose, you're in a bad situation because you have to pay taxes. And then let's say you're in the next year and then you lose that money because you were like, oh, I'm not, I know, you know, I'm going to make more money. And then suddenly it's bear market. This is what happened to me. Of course, not financial advice. So it's your own due diligence. But I've gotten into a situation where I owed money and I didn't really have the money to pay the taxes. So you have to be very careful with that. That's something that I learned early on. And thankfully, it wasn't a lot of money. So I was able to, you know, maneuver around it. Um, but you have to be careful. And let's say you're in the UAE. So now you're paying, you have this 100,000. And each time you can, 100,000. Let's say you're making, you know, 15% uh, a year. Think about this. So this continues to grow, continues to grow. Uh, we have to give a year, right? <laughs> How many years? And you do 30 years, right? It's 6.6 6 million, right? But if you have to pay taxes on it, each time, let's say it's 75, right? So then it's 150. And then on that 150, you have to pay 25% tax again. Well, the person in Dubai, he does the same 100%, but instead of 150, minus the 25%, he has 200,000, right? And then the next time he has 400,000, but you only had, right, 150, and this is becoming a little bit complicated, I know, <laughs> right, 150, and, but you have to pay taxes again. So you only have 75, now you only have 112, right? Times two, right? You have two, 225, he has 400,000. So he has a, it's unfair, in, unfair, right? But he's living in a country that no taxation, where you live in a country that has massive taxation. Now, listen, some might say, well, I live in a country that gives me social stuff and they give me, you know, all kinds of things and it comes around, right? I pay taxes and I get things back, education, school, you know, roads and things like that. And yes, you might be right about that. But in a sense, people that are going to be living in UAE uh, United Arab Emirates are going to have an uh, advantage. Is it unfair disadvantage? That's already hard to say. Um, again, it's pluses and minuses. I've heard from many people that have been in Dubai and lived in Dubai. It's kind of a soulless city, but you know that's nor here nor there. Um, you know, not, no community. No that if that was, you know, I'm not saying move to Dubai or not move to Dubai. Uh, it gets very hot in the summer. But in a sense, this is an unfair, right? Quote, unquote, unfair advantage. Uh, and this is how it is. Sometimes life is unfair, right? In Sweden, they pay 50% income tax. And in other countries, you pay only 15% income tax. I don't know, or, or less. And this is how it is. So this is going to be an interesting situation. Do we see companies and individuals leaving Europe, leaving US, leaving Canada, leaving Australia, leaving Asia, and coming, well, I know UAE is also in Asia, but leave, leaving... Um, uh, Eastern Asia and coming to Dubai because of these new rules. It's going to be very interesting to see how this all plays out. Don't forget to smash the like button. Do we get to 750? Yes? No? Maybe? Let's get there. And uh, uh, subscribe. Check out the links in the description down below. Like I said, not financial advice. Always do your, your own due diligence. Be careful out there. Remember what I said in the middle there. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, Let's make a lot of money.